friends, welcome back to Tranquility Moms. My name is Coach Kathy and I am here to answer your questions today. We've got a question that came in from Katrina. It says, hi Coach Kathy, on our last trip to Disney, I felt like I was so worked up planning for the trip that it was tough to even unwind for the first few days. I get that. I don't want to finally relax and then it's time to head home, right? Do you have any tips how to be on vacation faster? Thanks, Katrina. Katrina, I'm so glad that you wrote in. I answer questions um, from moms talking about family and faith, travel and wellness, and your question fits, right? Because it says, we are usually the primary planner for our vacations. And as we are busy, and it's exciting to go through all the steps of the planning and anticipating and looking up the excursions and what we're gonna do when we arrive. But the challenge is, well, you're still in that go mode those first few days. I know we've taken brief vacations, like a weekend away. (laughs) You're up and you're high and you're excited. And you never really get to that like, wow, we unwound, we're totally chill and relax before it's quick, pack back up and get back into our home routines. So I've got a couple of tips for you just to think about where your mind and your body are to really feel like you are able to get to that unwind and relaxed state much quicker. The first thing that I'm going to suggest is to really look at Are you still thinking? Are you overthinking? Part of our stress back at home is how much as mom we are managing with the morning routine and the schedules and what we're eating and where we need to be. So even in the vacation planning, our mind was at a heightened on state. So make sure that you are doing your exercises like journaling to sit down and quiet that brain, quiet that overthinking. In your journal book, you can certainly write down things that have been worrying you, things that you're excited for, things that you don't want to forget. That way you are able to quiet the overthinking and the racing thoughts that you've been stuck in to give yourself that peace and that quiet. Because once that calms down, that is going to calm down the adrenaline that has been pumping thinking. Go, 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 what else do I need to handle? So body and mind, that journaling is going to help you with that. If you're looking for a cute journal to grab, my daughter and I created the Tranquility Journal. It's sold on Amazon Prime. Just 100 pages lined, blank, Uh, for you to write in and jot down those thoughts and those feelings so that you're removing them and releasing them so that they're not creating more of that pressure and that stress on you. My second tip for being able to be on vacation, this is about using your mindfulness techniques. This is about using your five senses that you've arrived in the hotel, you've arrived at the resort or the cottage, you're sitting by the lake, you're looking up at the mountains, take in your nature therapy, take in your environment, the beauty around you. That means that you're smelling and seeing, tasting and touching, hearing what is around you. As you utilize those five senses, the brain is detaching from what you had back at home, the hustle and bustle of the plane ride, the troubles that happened on the car ride, you are able to relax and unwind the muscles by doing that breath and that breathing, right? Six counts in, six counts out. Let's try it together. You're gonna practice this here so that while you're sitting on vacation, you are able to mindfully touch base with exactly where your body and your mind should be focused. Ready? In together for six. And out. Ready? We'll try it again. Six in, six out. And out. 
I felt it. I felt my shoulders come back down. I felt just a calmness wash over me. And we can be at a heightened seven, eight, or nine on my anxiety scale and just be like, how do I turn this back down? Well, it might be your anxiety. It might be the panic and the pressure about planning the trip, getting it all just right, right? Disney, we have done that so many times and you're trying so hard to plan it all out, see everything, make it amazing for the kids, that that's part of why it's hard to turn all of that off and be able to relax your body and your mind. Say that quick prayer, God, please come into my heart and just let me soak up these moments. Let me be here where I'm relaxed and I can be free of my worries. I can be free of the pressures and the what ifs and the what's gonna happen when we get back home and how am I gonna deal with that situation at work I was last dealing with. It's quieting all of that and saying, I can release that. I've got a couple of days to just unwind and you're going to feel like you are on vacation much faster. Please put down in the comments below, what are other techniques that you have tried to just unwind? Do you go for a walk? Is there a certain book that you're reading that, oh, you could just get lost in the story and the characters? And that helps you to completely detach from the stress at home. I'm so glad that you're here on our channel. Tranquility Moms, we are a team of health practitioners and Christian moms. We're on a mission to recharge weary moms and turn your next vacation into your new lifestyle, right? We teach all these techniques and do it yourself wellness travel. We've got the YouTube channel, the blog, Facebook and Instagram, we invite you to join into this community. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, that way you don't miss any of the videos. Give it a thumbs up, that is the best compliment that we can receive. I'm Coach Kathy, and today, take care of yourself.